Um, I guess this will be the first episode of the Miata build. So, um, I heated it up, and now I, I mean, I just wanted to make sure everything was still working on it or whatever, and position it where I want it in here. So, um, with this build, I don't expect to do anything too crazy. Um, just kind of like a, you know, pull it apart, fix everything that needs to be fixed, make it a little cooler. You know, maybe maybe if I have the budget and time, throw a few cool mods on it, but nothing crazy. You know, it's just a Miata. But uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start pulling it apart. But um, I don't expect to film all that much, so it'll probably only be like maybe a video every week, you know, just compiling what I've done on it, uh, if I, you know, end up doing all that much in a week, so. Um, today, today what I want to do is kind of just put it up on jack stands. I'd like to, I have some super tall ones that I'd like to put it on eventually, but I want to start, I want to pull the engine and trans on it before it goes up on those, just because it'll be easier, so I'm not like pulling the engine when it's like six feet up in the air. So, um, I'm just gonna put it on the little, little axle stands over there and, uh, you know, pull the wheels off and I think, uh, start pulling the interior today probably. And, uh, yeah, so I'll probably start by cleaning up first though, because it's a mess in here. So, let's get to that. Alright, there we go. I got her up in the air. It was, uh, hella sketchy though with these guys, but, uh, that's fine. Now, I'm going to start pulling all the interior on this thing because... Alright, I don't know why the door's not opening. I'll figure that out and then I'll get back to you. Got the door open. It was just being a bitch. But, uh, I got a bunch of shit and clothes and shit in here. Um, but now I'm going to start pulling the interior on this thing. Probably start with like the seats or something. I'm gonna clean it out because it's full of garbage. Got a bunch of fucking like rockets back here because I had a mouse in here during the summer and it was just fucking. I had some rockets from like I guess it was near near Halloween then and it just was eating all the rockets. So I've got uh I've got pretty much half the interior pulled, maybe a little more. Um, so that's the whole. Soft top, hard tops off, uh, seats are out, you know, center console, and like door sills and a whole bunch of crap. So what I've been doing actually with all the nuts and bolts and everything, all the fasteners, because I suck at remembering and I want to be able to put this thing back together, is I've been putting them in bags and labeling them with everything. It's like these center console bolts and so, you know, I got the seat belts all in a big bag and... So, I'm gonna, as I pull everything, so like this bin's gonna be for the interior. So, as I pull everything, I'll label it, um, catalog it, put it away, and, uh, and hopefully that I'm, that'll make it really easy for when I put it back together. But also, I wanna show you something really odd, I guess. Um, so, whoever owned my car at some point chopped two big old holes straight through there. Um, I'm not sure why. I think it's the guy that painted it. So I bought um, this car off DK, is what I like to call him, because he looks like DK from uh, um, from Tokyo Drift. Um, might be a little racist, but no. Um, but, so, uh, the guy before him, I think, painted it and everything. So he might have chopped all the holes in it and stuff. So, but I think that's a bit, that's about it for today, so. See ya. What is going on guys? So today it's Saturday, a new day. Um, I'm gonna start on finishing the interior. Uh, still don't have much time today because I gotta do some stuff later, but um, hopefully I can at least get the interior out and then, and then I'll be happy with that. So let's get to it.
I love the way that this dude installed the stereo in this car. Literally just like two giant globs of tape and then like one back there to hold it in. They literally just like rolls of tape all rolled up. And then like for the front face. It's like some broken ass piece of plastic. God. Some janky shit happened to this car before me. <laughs> but that's fine. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it not so janky anymore. So there we go, I got the whole entire dash out. Um, not sure all what I want to take out of there yet. Um, like I'll probably just leave like all the heater stuff in there because there's no real sense of picking it all apart just to put it back together. Um, I mean, I'll take what I need to out to take out like the, the carpet and everything because I want to pull the whole carpet and fix any rust that's on the floor pan. Because I, I know there's a little bit and it feels like a soft spot um, in the driver's floor well, but overall, I think I think that's about it for the interior. I'll pull I'll pull the carpet um, soon, but I think what I'm gonna do now, I guess I have to take the door cards off. So I'm gonna take the door cards off next, which are super simple. It's literally like three three bolts and a bunch of clips. So I'll do that right now. Oh man, the digger I, the the deeper I dig in this car, the more like questionable stuff I find. Like if you look on the vapor seal, it's uh, well, it's just a bunch of duct tape. Um, like the door card was was like all falling apart and stuff. It's because uh, well, like none of the hardware was actually in there. Um, we got some like really shitty looking speakers. Um, they look like some budget, like, ricer speakers or something, so, oh well. Luckily though, we're just gonna rip all that out, I'll, uh, I don't know, I'll put some new shit in there, or glue it all back together properly, not with duct tape, so, oh well, I'll, uh, I'll pull the other door card all apart, and then, uh, and then do something else. So I went ahead and pulled out the speakers, and they are American Legacy speakers. I've never heard of this brand before, um, so I don't know if it's good at all. The installation definitely wasn't good. That's a bunch of hockey tape around the outside to, uh, I don't know, probably prevent it from rattling or something. On the other side, at least they had some like double-sided sticky tape, which seemed to do a better job, but the stats on these speakers doesn't seem that bad. Um, but, you know, I don't know, they look ridiculous, I think. They look like they should be in a Honda Civic, but... That's all I'm gonna do for today, guys. Uh, tomorrow I'll probably pull off the wheels and likely the brakes as well. Um, but that's, that's it for today. I kind of ran out of time, so, uh, see ya. And what is going on today, guys? So, it's been a couple days. All I've done is I took all the brakes apart on the Miata, but that was about it. 
Uh, nothing else has really happened, so like interior is still gone. But today what I'd like to get accomplished is if I could, I'd like to get the knuckles out here. So just unbolt them from the two control arms. But I'd also kind of like to get the coilover out, especially today. So then I can clean them up and just bring them inside so they're not just sitting out here all winter. But that's the plans for today. We'll see what else we can get done. I don't have a lot of time ever, so let's get to it. So far, I've gotten all the suspension up front pretty much unbolted. I'm having some troubles with uh, actually getting it out because, uh, well, it's all rusty and gross. But so I went ahead and got the two front coilovers out. And so now I've pretty much unbolted everything I can without taking it fully apart yet, because I don't want to do that quite yet. Um, so I'll probably remove the coilovers in the rear and then start taking more stuff apart, hopefully if it'll actually come apart. So let's do now, that. Now, for removing the rear coilovers, um, usually it's not too hard. Um, you just undo the one bolt at the bottom and the two up top. Typically, you'd have to go in there and try and get it out. But since the last dude that had the car cut a giant hole in the back, I can just get in there and get it out. So I guess that'll make it a little easier. This side's already like accessible, so it doesn't matter for that side, but you know, I guess, I guess it's a little easier now. That's it for today. Um, I'll see you some other time. Peace.